guest as the legendary 90s gladiator star Jet. Uh, and Anne Udell is back in the headlines after revealing, look at her move, uh, revealing that she married her partner Zoe last month in a secret ceremony just a year after they met and fell in love in that glamorous of places, the supermarket. <laughs> I think it was aisle six, was it not? That's yeah. right. What were you buying in aisle six that <laughs> made you fall in love? Welcome, Zoe. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. I want to call you Jet. I know you've got a real name. You're allowed. <laughs> Welcome. This is such a lovely, lovely story. Thank you. Um, Zoe, I mean, what happened in aisle six of your local supermarket this so, auspicious day? Well, in, in short, it started before aisle six, so I'd seen Diane in a car park while she was going to teach Pilates at the gym that was connected to Tesco. And I was like, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And, it's, it's, and I saw her a couple of times and then we exchanged names. So then what did you say? So you just went to the side up and said hi? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of, well, I kind of was waiting outside of the gym, I'm not going to lie. Oh, it was a kind it. of a stalking. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 not the cars. You being assertive. Yeah. <laughs> so Diane came out of the gym and I kind of ran and then played it really cool and just sidled up and I was like, hi Diane, it's really cold. She was like, yeah, you've remembered my name? I was like, yeah, I haven't remembered mine. And then I was just like, right, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to ask. And I said, can I just say you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen? Are you single? Yeah. Can I ask you on a date? And that was... That was That's where it started. amazing. Yeah. And of course, Diane, people wouldn't have known whether... Well, sexuality these days is one of these things that people talk about in lots of different ways. <laughs> Very different to how it was back in the 90s. Yes. And so has has that helped you in your life now? Or or, or, or was this always part of your life? But of course, you know, yeah. we know that you dated Hunter. And, you know, there's yes, all this yeah. sort of... Your life was quite popular. You were a huge fan up back in the Thank day. Thank you. Well, I don't know. <laughs> about sexuality I think you are what you are when yeah. you are and like you know you, you spin and rotate with life as you evolve and grow and it's for me it's always been about the soul of a person <laughs> not necessarily what gender they're born exactly. into. Exactly so you fell in love with the person mm -hmm. that is Zoe. Yeah it's incredible and then tell me a bit about the wedding so you met it so what did you how quickly did your romance sort of build so you thinking this is my person, my God. Yeah, I asked you four months in. Four months in. I just knew. Yeah. <laughs> what, how was the, what was the proposal like? Um, it was yeah. actually it was just it was really boring. It was just in the kitchen, over a glass of wine. <laughs> no, yeah. right, let's do this. I think you know if you want to be with somebody. And I have kind of done it before, many in another lifetime. In another lifetime. And you just know that feeling of resonance and to just... I mean, Zoe's very well educated. She's very funny. Uh, we just spend the moment from waking up to going to sleep laughing and it, about life. Yeah, well, it's wonderful. And it's really sort of oppressing at the time because, of course, there's a Gladiators reboot. So if everyone's yeah. looking back and going, where's Hunter? Where's Wolf? Where's Jet? <laughs> and, and can we just see the footage? I don't know. Did you dance like this at your wedding reception? I want to see. <laughs> did you just do by complete she didn't <laughs> and now everyone thought that was like a big sort of sexy move for the telly but it wasn't was it the reality was whenever Ulrika would come and do like post interview any of the events would be sweating dragging off the helmet and I'd be like <laughs> As I literally one day just put my head over and whoop the hair back, and it's kind of stuck. It's the only way of getting the hair off my face. Move. But <laughs> what I love is when you auditioned for the show, um, you were alongside somebody who then became very famous. Yes, that's right, Gabby, then Logan. Yeah, but you're right, but now Logan. Gabby of Logan. Course. She was phenomenal in it. Yeah, but she didn't. I think she just got a job with Sky, presenting a lot of sports wow. on radio, and then of course she went stratospheric. So she didn't ever have to gladiate. She didn't have to <laughs> like gladiate. Like models. And now, of course, as a reboot, do you, how do you feel about it? Does it is there a bit of you that sort of hankers for that? That sort of pe no, you no. don't. No, you <laughs> don't I've done my time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we're both going to sit and watch and enjoy it very much. The new lads are phenomenal athletes. They're beautiful. Um, I'm very excited for them and the fame, if that's what they want. Yeah, that will come with it, and also to inspire another whole generation and whole families because it's such a great family show. And Netflix. And, and Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and people will wonder what what Jet did once she sort of left Gladiators, and you retrained in a complete. Completely different. 
thing. I've been wanting to train as a psychotherapist from about the age of eight or nine. I'm just really fascinated about minds and what makes us who we are at times. And also creating safe spaces for people to orientate if they're going through a bit of a tough time in life. Yeah. I like that. So it's a real privilege. Oh, and, and you're in education as well and deal with lots of quite difficult things with people that need help. Mm -hmm. So we, we really kind of got lots in common. And Zoe, did you know that Diane was jet when you were spotted in the car park? And <laughs> Why do you use the word spotted? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a rare creature in the wild, you spotted no. the jet. <laughs> uh, Over the car door. Yeah, what no. did you know about no, Diane's just... background when you met her? The first time, the first three times, I didn't even know who she was. Even when she said, oh, you know, what's your name, Zoe? What's yours, Diane? Didn't click. And tell me the moment when you realised I kind of got home and I was like, where have I seen this person from? I thought, <laughs> I'm sure I've seen her on social media. <laughs> my God, it's Jet. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And I remember that um, when I did sin, I was going to do it on the Monday. It was a Monday night and it was quarter to seven. I'd scheduled it, made sure I was there. And I remember ringing my sister-in-law and saying, this is what I'm going to wear. Do you think this is right? And she was like, just be yourself. <laughs> That's all you can be. Yeah. Oh, oh did you... How, did you so were you, did you fancy Jack when she was on the telly? Can you remember in the Gladiator first? <laughs> Stop being cool. Yeah. Yeah. So when we sit and watch the TV and I'm kind of like, initially I was like, wow, that's Jet. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I did have a crush on you. Of course oh, you did. Oh, Listen, the whole country yes. had a crush on Jet. Yes. Uh, yeah. Absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Well, what a gorgeous story. And it's lovely to catch up with you, actually. And yourself. It's wonderful. Yes, it's it's very very exciting. Exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Now, still to come between now and 10 o'clock. Is coffee really the nation's favourite drink? We're settling the debate, dividing the nation this morning, and Mark's back. Uh, yes, we